lucky and then there's another and then the main scenario quest roulette is um 120 tomes like you can get about 600 to a thousand in one day maybe around there and you can go ahead and buy your level your eye level 120 weapon and upgrade it to 130 with the, getting a carbon wire for just uh 400 um tomes and then you can already be practically maxed out before getting to heaven's word so i have a better question for you mm -hmm. yeah. instead of pouring all that into like a ninja are those tomes going to exist for the samurai yeah so there's yeah. going to be all that same gear but for samurai at the same level yeah the um the samurai since it's going to be at level 50 and the samurai is going to share gear with the monk so if you um Put your tomes to buy the monk gear you already ha you'll have your maxed out gear or partially maxed out gear for the samurai to start with and um like i said it's 400 tomes to get the carbon wire from um in mardona so do we know gear. what gear you start with um i if uh if i know how they're gonna do it they're probably not gonna give you any gear at all like for the samurai, they just give you your weapon to act to to be able to access the class itself. So the gear you're gonna have to get the gear oh, from, shit, I died. from Mordona. <laughs> oh, shit. You're gonna have to get the gear from Mordona. Like your iron your ironwork your ironwork gear is, is the highest level gear to get in in a Realm Reborn. That's your ultimate gear for that expansion. Oh, I didn't know you have a ninja hunting. That's pretty cool. The what? A uh, hunting has a ninja. Oh, okay. A lot of fun. I like it. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so much I like the combos you do. I mean, I know it's gonna be much easier now to remove mutilate all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, it's a good thing. Since they got rid of the poisons, that's like two space bars. I can, I can. Leave yes. Free. Yeah. They, I can leave free, and then um, they took off sneak attack, which kind of sucks that they took it off because um, I mean that's a 500 potency attack. Yeah, it was hard to trigger itself on boss fights. I yeah. think for me. I pulled it up a few times. Like um, one time I pulled it off playing doing the Nihog extreme. Mhm. Mm because we had to kill like in part of in that one part of that fight you need to kill a pillar like there's two different pillars one that only takes damage when you take damage it deal it takes damage and then the other one you have to dp you got to dps it down and i actually pulled off a 10,000 crit out of, with that with that um attack and that was before i maxed out Um, yeah, I heard machines are pretty boring, but I heard for uh, Stormblood they're gonna be much different to play now. Uh, they took off the cast time. The cast time, yeah. And also the bards. Yeah, so they don't have to worry about cast times anymore. And, um, well, the fun thing about <laughs> the machines you. is the flamethrower. <laughs> the flamethrower just made things like, oh, that's gonna be awesome. Let's burn everything down. <laughs> That's funny. But um, but yeah, the um, the machinist is actually pretty. Keep captain. It's actually pretty fun because you have the torrent, and it's actually pretty good for as a support as a support class, because the torrents help. Well, they're gonna take out all that support stuff in Stormblood, though. They said like you're not gonna be able to help regain MP and TP with your torrents. Hmm. Yeah. When Machinist first started out, it was uh, mainly to be like a DPS slash support, just like the bar in a sense. But I can tell you this: the Machinist deals more damage than the. I'll tell you that, especially when you buff it up. When you buff it up. Um, is this your first time in this dungeon, Bad? Yeah, it is. Um, kill yeah, kill the kill those tentacles first before attacking the squid, because the um, it'll make it where it can attack the squid can attack you for like a couple of seconds and like it basically paralyzes it for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, 
the except for those, not those tentacles, the ones that don't, the ones that look like regular tentacles, kill those. Those that you're attacking right now, forget them. Oh, they look they'll, like tentacles. <laughs> they'll, yeah, they'll just respawn and they'll grab you and throw you, throw you like it did before, and um, put you in that AOE where you can't escape. Oh, okay. I see the arms. Okay, yeah. I get it. See, like right now, it's um, it can't pull its arms out at the right now. So you got some DPS time before it starts spawning them out again. I see. I got you. I thought I did it. Oh, well. <laughs> people are logging out, or people are people are putting outside saying goodbye, Idle Shire. Doma's gonna be our new home now. By the way, uh, are you guys gonna buy a house in uh, Stormblood area? Uh, may maybe. I'd like to, if we can. We probably don't have uh, enough money for it, but whatever. Apparently, uh, one of our uh, streamers' friends joined the, the, the FC and donated two million gil. Yeah, but is is that gonna be enough for an FC house? No. <laughs> yeah. So like. Hey, it's something, dude. That's enough. That's enough for a couple of apartments. Yeah. But the um, housing and all that, I think they said they're not going to do any of the housing stuff ah! after two weeks of Stormblood. So what I would do is um, save up all your gill as you play through the main scenario quest of Heaven's Ward. And then by the time you get to Stormblood, you should be able to um, like have enough gill to um, actually afford a... Um, FC company house or uh, mansion. Uh, by the way, doing the roulette's also a good bit of money. Like, um, I believe in it, like in five days, I was able to um, get up to like five hundred thousand gil or without without spending spending, I was able to get like about five hundred thousand gil in five days doing the roulettes and some of the dungeons. Yeah, but the real gill is just going to come from auctioning stuff. Uh, maybe. Uh, no, it's 100%. You can make such a larger amount of money off the market board than you can from what the game will give you. It's... Yay! It's yeah, silly. Uh, but, uh, to uh, good night, Devin. Off, but to pull that off, you need to be uh, crafting and fishing. Uh, no, you don't need any professions to run a market board thing. No, I mean like um like people people that like play the game and get like a whole bunch of guild by doing stuff like that, they spend the money that they can spend like they'll blow their money just to get something specific to, to, to progress to the game. Like for example, um No 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 no, you misunderstand completely. Oh. Um I have very specific friends from like even WoW and even back to uh oh what game was that? We fly in spaceships everywhere. Uh Destiny? No, um, but it, I can't remember that game name, but like this guy, he, he only cared about making money in the games. He didn't actually care about leveling up anything. And all he does is make money in these games. He never levels at all. He just he plays the money. market boards and then all of a sudden he's got like a ton of money and then he uses his money to do stuff in the game. Hmm. Yeah, so basically what that is, is, is the basic principle which was brought up before which is buy low sell high right and then he'll just do that every day and sure enough after maybe I don't know I for this guy for the guy that I'm very specifically thinking of which was always called yin yang um, in about a week he had over a million gold in WoW and he was still level 2 he just <laughs> leveled up from exploration to get to the fucking market board see um the way how I see how I've seen some people do it is like um the main thing like um like the main thing some a lot of people like um like the in the market board the you probably saw the um metallic dies how much they go for I don't know what that is um they're dies but they they it's they're like um green le green green level items okay they're dice for your cloak for your for your gear but um 
they look more like real like it's just metallic but it makes them look like the color more realistic to your um to your gear it makes the color look more realistic like uh, almost kind of 3d ish hmm. and those sell to like two thousand two hundred thousand to three hundred thousand gil depending on whoever is crazy enough to want to buy just that color just to, uh, just for one glamour you have there are people like that and then there's when you're fishing there's those rare fish that is hard they're hard to catch and if you put them in the market board and, you, and those people need them to progress on their fishing log and all that they'll spend like i said 200 300 even to a million gil just to get that one that one piece of item yeah progress on something in the game so what you do is that you buy it at you know whatever it costs and then you raise it by 10 percent and then you always make five percent Playing but long course, game. That, but of course that uh, you know how they say supply and demand that depends on that depends on like um like all the i can tell you this all the level 60 crafters right now they're gonna like especially the no this the, works i do yeah. this in wow yeah no i'm not saying i know i'm just saying <laughs> like, um, what i'm saying is that um like all the crafters here in this game in this game they're gonna be like one samurai comes out they're gonna the, they're gonna be they're gonna have access to all the samurai gear for like level 50 to 60 and they're gonna right they're gonna sell them at such a high price just so people can have the best gear just for the samurai and red mage or, i forgot or what it was the main time i'm gonna mainly, get mainly, just found something mainly, that, mainly the weapons the so, maximum because, of skill. Um, if a lot of people are but, smart they probably already grinded all the Heaven's War dungeons for all the monk gear, so they already probably prepared, have it stashed in their retainers, um, inventory, uh, all the biggest. monk gear that's gonna, that'll, no that'll go for the samurai, God so they're probably already children. prepared for that. Trampled upon sacred soil, bring the light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the silks? And we got a lot of frisky dragoons doing, uh, uh jumping around the here. Guardians proper peace. <laughs> I don't even think Yoshi P could afford that. <laughs> I think he can. <laughs> he owned, he, he's the producer, dude. He's like, mm, Tilders, give me all the money. Give me and, the economy. And then they'd be like, yeah, but then you gotta like go into the MOG station and put in a request. We'll get the request. There's a lot of other work that goes into us changing that value for you. <laughs> dude, you know how it works. It is, it's not that easy. You know, come on, it's not a good database change. Come on. They got tools for this. Oh, did you finish your thingy? I'm literally staring at Rama right now. Oh, nice. So that's why all these minis are chasing you? Like, behind you? I'll kill him. I'd be a joint to help you guys on Ramu. Yeah, I'd do that. I heard that the seeds for the fruits that change your triggerable feathers colors go for a lot as well. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure because you have to buy so many of them, right? Um, I think you can get the color you need just by getting five of them. I think you need to feed the triggerable about five of them to get to, to get one color. But but if you want a specific like uh, let's say black, you have to like give them two different kinds of fruits of two different colors. You have to make black. It works. It works that way. Yeah, I heard it was changing RGB values. So one is an R, one is red, one is blue, one is green. Yep. Yeah. And then you you control it that way. Yeah. And also that's also the best way to um you can also train your chocobo that way as to get their up its rank by giving it food as, or and to train it so it'll get like um let's see i think um like depending on the depending let's see you only do it once a day so it'll get like maybe eighty four thousand experience points but the chocobo the chocobo's um rank levels are like much higher than the player X, xp levels like It'll be like a million, a million or something like that just to get to rank two or rank three. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're much higher. That's why it's best to always have your chocobo when you're doing like all these side quests and all that, because um there's a um achievement or a um 
a challenge that um called bosom buddies that um when you just when you kill buddies. 99 100 enemies of the same level with your chocobo with your chocobo um you get um like 84,000 experience points from just doing that the lord of yeah. heaven himself Never till this See, day have I looked what upon his rank is my chocobo right painted now? painted renderings made faint by time. Never shall Let's this scene remain etched He is rank 10, so eye. he's maxed out right now. <clears throat> Beg pardon, so is Deck playing a pugilist? Oh, she was. Uh, only to level my bard. Yeah. Oh, okay. I must it's one more level. Here we go. Let's go. We were trying to do it with Pass the Dead, but... Then I had to start streaming. Mm. But you guys saw that in the very beginning. We and her were doing Pals of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw. Yeah, I did. I did the one that was it 40 or 50. The one that you killed Ida. Uh, yeah, like that, one, like that one gave me like 400, like half a million right there. I was curious about that too. Like, was it, uh, did you yeah. only have to get to floor 50? Which, did you have to kill Ida in order to unlock yeah. floor 51? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know. He does a boss in the Palace of the Dead? Uh, yeah. I think 450? No, 450? No, 49. No, I think it is 50. It's 50. It is 50? Okay. See, um, I never, I've, I haven't, like, you know, really done maybe 10 floors, box, uh, 10 floors solo, and that's it. I'm out bad. I'm ready to do Rama. Hard mode. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, I guess you're, Kai, you're gonna go in? <clears throat> Fresh and Rama. Yep, I'm, I'm already. Though I'll be playing as a summoner, not a tank. That's fine. That's cool. Uh... Fifty-five fruits. You had to feed him. Fifty-five fruits. Wow. Yeah, Hunty to get. What color were you going for, Hunty? Uh, that's why I stuck with uh, flame red. What trial is this? To the trial? Yeah, it's gonna be a trial. It's gonna be called. It's gonna be called. Um, hold on. Let me um, let me look right. for it. Let me uh, look for it on my duty. At training. the stinking what? Let's see, it's gonna be called. Uh, um, let's see, no, not that one. Um, ah, uh, uh, the striking tree. The striking tree hard. Uh, why is it not appearing in my thing? Did you unlock it? Did you um touch? Oh, that's cool. Uh, never mind. I didn't see the scroll bar on the right. My bad. Things dumb. Oh man. Bad pointer. Yeah, Striking tree. There you go. Nah, Jeez. that's a raid. You need to put it on trial. There you go. Striking tree. Yeah. Um. Here we go. Hey, Hunty, are you on this server slash um, data center? Totally forgot. Storm blue, that was the color you went for, huh? Ooh, um, a blue chocobo? Nice. Did you set up for private um, bat or. Um... It's public, but once you're in, I'll, I'll close it. Alright. Uh, what's it? Let's see, Sunken Temple, Foyer. Damn it, Hunty. It's a bad pointer stream party. Where are you guys? I don't see it here. Oh wait, let's see, hold on, let me, let me, let me retract. Oh, okay, here we go. Bad point, found it. Cool. All right. Oh, Phoenix server. Okay. Just check in. See if you wanted to join. Now, um, striking tree. I can let me give you a little. Um, see, striking tree hard is not that not that bad. Um, main thing is just like all the other uh, primals, there when it gets to the um, ad phase, focus down the ads quick or you know big wipe with his um judgment bolt. And um, 
if you get targeted by a circle around you full of lightning, don't um, try to get away from everyone else as possible because um, er they overlap each other. So if you are next to someone with another... Nah, don't tell me all the mechanics. Let's just do it. Okay. I mean, it's just a, a duty finder, right? It's just like super serious. I'd rather see the mechanic and die to it and, and react to that. Alright, that's fine. Well, I mean, that's cool. <clears throat> Although the wait might take a while since we're doing it by we got three DPS in here. Yeah. Um... It says less than five minutes. Yeah. Usually when I queue stuff as a DPS, it says like much longer than that. <laughs> like 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh. Where are you standing around waiting for your queue, dear? Oh, somewhere you probably can't go. Where are you at, Dick? Oh, wow. I just wanted to show you my pugilist recommended gear. Oh, no oh, way. Right. I'm coming to Old Wall. We're going. We're going. Old Wall. You just hit the button on the screen, man. Oh, right. You can't because we're in a thing. We're in a different party. Mm -hmm. Well, bad thing about being in the EU server is that most are, uh, are asleep when I play. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. Just come join Leviathan. <laughs> oh. Yes, I mean, we're up right now. You yeah, be playing with us. we're playing. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I don't suck to level another character. Uh, but I guess if you get Stormblood, you can buy these potions, and you'll be level sixty or fifty, whatever it is. Um, I believe it's level fifty for Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word. See, like that's including that's like completing all. That's like automatic complete all the quests. Oh, there and she is. Oh, I see Snow. I know what she was doing. I know what she was doing. Oh my gosh! I'll, it's time I'll to you guys stream and do some role play. Literally my outfit. I'll let you guys be alone, okay? Okay, I'll let you guys be alone. <laughs> Later. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm be, I'm be very ninja. Watch, watch. Later, guys. <laughs> 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 Not seeing this. <laughs> it's rated R. Have kids watching. I'm not sure there's any reason this outfit belongs in melee combat with swords and fucking axes. It's so you can move more. Um, right? If I, like, I actually asked my buddy that I used to live with about why would they make gear that looks like, you know, that exposes you so much. And then they said, and he actually told me, well, actually, there some of those gears are actually kind of accurate back, like, back in those times. Like, there were gear that really looked like. Uh, I guess a uh, SMN that almost looked like MS SMN uh, clothes, and but they were that's how they were back in back then. They said. Yeah, but do you know why? Because I know a little bit about this. Go ahead. I know a little bit about this. Tell us a story. So, when they used to make armors back in the day, they had to make them cheap and they had to make them fast. So when they had like guilds like this, where we're mass producing certain kind of armors. They would make it the cheapest way possible, and then they expected you to put on all the undergarments underneath. But a lot of people didn't actually have money <laughs> to do anything like that, so they wouldn't wear any anything underneath. Even though you're actually supposed to wear uh, quite a bit of, of gear underneath all of their armor that they had, um, mainly being uh, wool. I think it was like they would actually put like thick fucking wool as they went into into combat. <laughs> Which I don't know if you ever wore wool, but it's pretty hot and not exactly conducive for combat and itchy yep but that's what they'd put on they'd put on their wool and they put on their armor i mean if you're having combat and there's people around you trying to kill you i think that's the last thing in your mind i'm hot holy shit me to the sword yeah right yeah. But yeah they would like mass produce all that kind of stuff so that they could hand it out as part of their thing and then they just expected other people to fill in the rest and people wouldn't yeah, back in those times, but now armor like that is basically useless because uh, we got stuff. Well, actually, we don't even got things that are even better than actual armor. I mean, even a bulletproof vest has its limits. Well, armor is only as good as the weapons. So when you, the weapons can pierce the armor, then the armor doesn't matter, which is what happened. Like, for example, why we stopped wearing things like scale mail. Because then we came out with guns, and guns could pierce scale mail. So there wasn't really a point to wear scale mail if everyone brought a gun. Yeah, especially because um, scale mail is um, kind of thin. So yeah, bullets were easy to bullets were easily pierced through them. 
any thicker, you wouldn't any thicker, and it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to move. I actually saw on a documentary that um, bulletproof armor that they're making is called dragon scale armor. Like they made the um parts were for to uh, look almost look like dragon scales, and then there was another type of bulletproof armor that they added for the police um i believe it, it was like a magnetic like the metal the metal inside the bullet vest would be light but when a bullet would be approaching the would be approaching you somehow it was able it, it was fast enough where the, all that tiny pieces of metal would compress into one spot and harden and pretty much um, <laughs> i think i know what you're talking about it's not a metal it's a gel or a gel yeah and so the way it works is actually it's um as a bullet impacts the outside surface of the vest, it breaks a line of electricity, like how a touchscreen works. And when the, the electricity is broken, it sends it around into the gel, which hardens instantaneously at the speed of electricity. Nice. Yeah, and so like that was their latest theme. But then another thing I saw on that was that, and I can't confirm this one because I don't <laughs> remember where this the source was, but the other thing I saw on that was that it actually doesn't, stop it fast enough and instead it's not that it hits the gel and stops but that it hits into the gel and the gel hardens around the bullet and that was the speed of it but it wasn't that effective so, so like it can it could work on like a nine millimeter but then when you got above that it didn't actually work very well and even though they posed it like it was some new this new high-tech armor it wasn't quite ready for you know bigger yeah, scale that- things it's gonna need to be much faster to help, much faster than that, to um, protect person because um, they, the even if the bullet doesn't go through the vest, you're gonna still feel that force hitting you. Oh yeah, for sure. It still impacts the vest. I mean, it's like a bulletproof vest right now. It's it's redistributing where the bullet hit to the entire vest, and so the entire vest now takes the speed of in you know the the weight distribution of the bullet at its speed, which is now your whole fucking chest and a lot of people still get bruises through their uh vests not that i know anything about actually getting shot about that i just i don't know oh yeah i I mean i was gonna say you got shot before (laughs) (laughs) no no it's it's always good to have knowledge about uh, stuff like that i mean um like you know how they say that sometimes use, useless trivia can always can save a life, actually, because, you know, the more you know, the better. Knowledge is power, my friend. Yeah, I forget what it was on Reddit that I read that, like, why did we ever stop wearing, like, the armaments and things like that that we used to wear? Like, why did people stop wearing armor and things like that? And it was because, it was always because weapons outpaced the armor. One thing I would love to have made, like, for actual combat, like, to wear, is, um, like, hand gauntlets, like, um, the same kind that, um, what's his name, um, Jin, Jin from Tekken uses, something like that, but with the actual metal, with actual metal on knuckles, but also some metal plating on where the arm is, I would just love to have something like that, and boots like that. Uh, still, I think, um, uh, bo- uh Battle Greaves. I would just love to have them just for just for kicks. But if I wasn't the zombie horde, I would be using those for him. Wouldn't be it wouldn't be able to bite me that easily in my arm. Smack, smack, punch, slap. Yeah, that's why I like I see like zombie stuff, and it's like you know if you just wear like a male. I don't know armor garment whatever you can probably survive it. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> right? You know, they're like scratching you with their decaying like nails and hands, like yeah, sludge. Yeah, the thing is that you would not have a lot of more uh, even if you they can't scratch you, if they oh, can yeah. knock you down and pull the armor off you, I mean they're they're probably be capable of pulling your helmet off and still biting your head. Yeah, but right. let's be honest. If you get into a situation where you're surrounded by zombies and they're pinning you down, you're dead already. Yeah. No matter what, yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't have gotten there. You done fucked up. Game over. <laughs> yeah. You done fucked up. Exactly. You know, you know what was my favorite zombie anime? Hmm. This was a zombie anime? Yeah. Just... There's all kinds uh, of animes out there. <laughs> Why would that one surprise you? 
I, I, I don't know. You got like <laughs> demons and shit like that, but zombies? I'm like, I don't um, think these people are like, man, eh, it's kind of boring. Um, yeah. Try, uh, try watching if you uh, see if you like it on High School of the Dead. School of the Dead. Okay. It's about um like they don't even explain how the zombies appear or what caused it. It's just like it starts out at at a high school. And um, the teachers are, are out in front of the school and they're seeing this guy hitting the hitting the um gate and then the teacher grabs it to say to like try to push him off and the zombie just uh, then the zombie just bit bites him, then bites the, the hot teacher next to him, and then all hell breaks loose in the school. And the main characters are like they start out trying to find their way out of the school and then they um and then they get out of the school. And then there is more like, you know, actual survival, actual survival, like trying to get back, to try to get to where their parents are and, and, um, like trying to get to a safe place. And the cool thing is the car that they, they, they get afterward is an actual military Humvee. Zombie killer. Yeah. Check out Discord. Is that, is that it? What I was, what I just linked? High school to that. Yep, that's it. Unfortunately, if you read the manga, you're never gonna see the end of it because, unfortunately, the um, creator is, uh, passed away this year. Oh, that sucks. Well then. Yeah. Like the anime gets to a certain point, but it doesn't follow exactly the manga. And yeah, then the creator stopped for like a like for a hiatus of. I'm working on it, and they he made another anime that's um, a little bit on the, you know, it's a it's basically rated R, rated R, a lot of boobies and all that showing. Sweet. And um, <laughs> I mean, high school. Dead, that. High school, yeah, high school. The dead is a uh, is the same way. It just but not a, like you don't see a lot of boobies or anything like that. You only probably see one person with uh, naked in that entire in that entire series, and it's the busty blonde teacher. That's with the main characters or whatever. But other than that, it's more of um, like you have a regular guy, a regular guy, a girl, the girl that's on the picture right there. She's a um, like she's good with a halberd, so she knows how she can use a spear. Then you have a very badass um, senpai with purple hair, and she use she's a good swordsman. She uses a sword or at first a wooden sword. Then you have an, a fat otaku guy that's a mi military nut that actually got trained in the Delta Force uh, on a one time during summer break, so he knows how to use guns. Gets a gets a freaking nail gun, makes it into like a nail gun rifle, and killing zombies with a nail gun. Yeah. And then you have another girl that's like really smart and it's like another man. She's um. She's like the big brains, like to tell him, wait, if we go this way, this may happen. So the best way to do this, like she's always right kind of character. But um, and then you have a little girl that ends up with them also. And then the hot blonde teacher. Yeah, that's Ditsy, but she's a nurse. She's the school nurse. But yeah, I recommend it. It's some people say they don't like it, but uh, uh, you know, to each their own. Tomato, tomato. You know, yeah. try it out. You might like it. You might not like it. You <clears> might like <throat> the story. You know, you might like it for the storyline, and you might like it for the fan service. You know, panty shots and all that. This queue is taking long. Yeah. We have one tank, four DPS, just waiting on two healers and one tank. Just waiting on healers? Fuck. Two healers and a tank. See, now I, I could switch to healing, but I'd suck at it. No, I suggest you don't. I suggest you stay with the DPS on this one. When it comes, like, uh, when doing the trials, like, for the first time, it's best to do, it's best to do them with the with the role you're best with or that you're more comfortable with at first then experiment later on oh man we have such different viewpoints on viewpoints on this well 
<laughs> it's just duty finder, you know. <laughs> These are just cute. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have low expectations of everybody else in there. Most, I, 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 I would agree and disagree to that because it's Final Fantasy, and I think duty finders are way different what you expect that what a Warcraft is, right? Yeah, Where you just queue in, you just go in and just pull everything and AOE and get to the final boss and that's it. We're here. Things are different and they, they, did, they did it for a reason for because, you know, they wanted everybody to constantly be playing content and also old content to, you know, like, um, make it fresh, lot, I guess. Yeah, a lot of these trials are like training or like it's not just to beat them, but to also learn from them because, um, you know the trial because later on the trials for like the extremes and heavens were and all that are much more um intricate when it comes to their mechanics like i was saying um for example like the the one that took me three months to beat servant ex that we were talking i was talking about last time um like if you literally mess up just one mechanic it was literally an entire wipe Yeah, but that's fine. I mean, this is an extreme. It's just hard. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's, I, it's I, too I hard. You I, said I it. No, you said it in yourself. When you said the word training, then you indicated that it's a learning experience. True. Kind of this, though. I mean, it's like it, it has a lot of mechanics and a lot of boss mechanic slides. Not a tank and swing, right? So it takes people to. Avoid stuff. It's kind of like, what's like that game the, you get to play for? Like the hard modes are basically like, like I said, the train. Like it, some of the base mechanics that would show up afterwards in the extreme, with just a little added stuff and different twists to them. Like it gives you the idea of like, oh, okay, so th so it's there. It's now like this now. So I gotta do this now to avoid this happening. You know, yada 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 yada. Hold on, Hunty. Yeah. What are you talking about? Are you talking about? I should watch video on the fight, or are you talking about the fact that you see me doing Hildebrand again? It'll take him like 15 seconds to respond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you next time, Inspector. See you, Inspector. Uh, next time, Inspector. <laughs> All right, one tank, one healer, four DPS. Let's go. Ah, oh, the healer dropped. <laughs> Damn it! I guess uh, like um, Ramu is a uh, was is like very hard fight, even in the hard mode when trying to keep healed. But um, but like um, if anyone that's a veteran does it, if a veteran does uh, Ramu now. It's mainly for because they are probably prepping for Stormblood as fast as they can. So they, although I'm surprised we're not getting a fast queue because a lot of people at this point should, would be doing. There we go. There you go. Extra grinding. Grinding at the speed of sound. <laughs> I messed that song up so bad. Pool party. Dun 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 dun. Auntie, I know, right? I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a cutscene. Still better than trying to send a tell to your friend, and it's like, your friend is in duty, and you can't send them a tell right now. <laughs> the fuck I can't send them a tell right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find a run. Evil Q. It is Naval Q. You know, I, uh, can you imagine? So, I, I don't know, it's a good thing he floats because I doubt he'd be able to walk properly with that big ass beard on his face. That's a majestic beard, though. I will admit. Ah, oh, I remember this fight now.
Oh, I forgot. I think I'm summoner. Shoot. Oh crap, I forgot. I did not put my resurrection uh, like, since I replaced it with um, flare pain or pain play. terror on you um or if someone gets terror go straight to them if you're um being uh surrounded by the electric circle that will take that will take that debuff off them Oh my god, these people still stick on me! Whoa, what the hell? Wow! Lightnings! I like that my map is still on my screen, even though I really wish I could close it right now. <laughs> I can't want to, as long as I want to keep doing damage. <laughs> oh, should we like separate? Why am I connected to this tank? Oh, um, that's a tether. Uh, yeah, you, you need to collect uh, those, ele those little electric spheres that show up. You need to collect three of them to take it off. They do damage, uh, damage for uh, three seconds, I think, or damage for five seconds. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Damage over time. Maybe. Mm. Add. Damn it, add a tether. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure if this, uh, you get you take more damage the further you're away from the tether or from your or closer you are. Um, try and get these thingies. Um. Well, I wouldn't worry about them. I would just save them for the tank. The tank needs to um, kind of uh, keep those, uh, use them to take less damage from his uh, tank run. That's right. Damage each time an action is used. Oh wow, I can't do actions because apparently it. I need to run or something. Did you run or something like use uh, crit? I'm trying to take this thing off me. Uh, you're not gonna be able to take it off. Well, uh, I can't do damage. Can't do damage? Huh. No, apparently I do damage. It's really reducing my health. Yeah, uh, you need to, like I said, collect those little electric sparks that show off. The, but, um, well, they're mine. Yeah, uh, I, was, I, 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 I grabbed like four or five and nothing happened. Uh, you only need three. If you grab any more, it'll actually uh, do a, diff a different effect that's not good. It's probably the effect that you had collected more than three. Well, the, the thing said, you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'll read the description says, every time you cast, do an action, you take damage because of it. I'm like, okay. Let me collect some spears. And then I said, you got one of them. Like, cool. Hmm. Well, the good thing is I don't have to worry about tomes anymore for my, for my, um, Samurai, Samurai and Red Mage. Hey, Baked on Tech, it's, uh, 2 a.m. Pacific 
time, so that's 4 a.m. Central Time, and my stream ends normally at 2 a.m., which is in 10 minutes, so it should go down in about another 2 hours, 2 hours and 10 minutes. It's 1.40 for me over here. Yeah, it's 1.40. I usually put all my clocks fast. <laughs> Oh my god! People are like going crazy here. There's like behemoths and phoenixes everywhere. Oh my god! Literally, the whole, almost the whole town here is covered in behemoths and fat chocobos. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> fat chocobos are the best. Ah, screw it! I'll join the fray. Good thing I, I have my behemoth too. My findings at the rising. Conga line, dun 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 dun. Awesome. I swear, if anyone ever fought, had a fight behemoth in, in, of this quantity, they will not, a ray will not survive. <laughs> he is our overlord, the fat chocobo. <laughs> he eats everything in his sight. Oh, it took me back here. I was doing a quest. Yeah, if you, um, if you, um, how you say, get interrupted like a duty, uh, and you're, you're like in the main, in a story or whatever, and you choose, and you get into a dungeon, it will reset back to the beginning of it. Okay, I'm taking back here. I'll just teleport. It's a behemoth train! I forgot that you can't take me with you. Oh, that's right. I know, right? I don't even know where you went. I just guessed. Hawthorne Hut? I don't even know where I went. I just clicked the thing and then hit the nearest crystal. <laughs> I just went to Oblivion. It's okay. <laughs> hey, do you, guys, do you guys like the animes like Sword Art Online? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, did you ever see, um, have you ever seen Overlord? Don't recognize the name. Um, it's a, it's pretty damn good anime it's like one of the most uh, uh one like the better than better than sword art online basically it's about um it's about a guild leader and his friends in a virtual game the the game's about to shut down like for good because it's like over for good and it's been like uh and so um the the guild leader logs in just to uh logs in and uh like just to stay there for the last few minutes, last few last hour before it's shut down completely. All his guildmates like retire, they're moving on in their lives and all that. And um, he falls asleep in the game. And when the game goes offline, he wakes up and he's still logged in. But he's not logged in in the game literally. He's like in a completely different world as his avatar. And his avatar is a is a um, how you call them a. Uh, those um, skeleton guys, like the powerful wizard skeleton, um, death geese or Ge uh, geese lord or something like that. And in this Maybe. game, <laughs> I was like, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, um, in this game, not only were you able to play like um, like a story, but at the same, but when you made your own guild, you can make you could make a castle. You can even make NPCs that are like your boss, your bo your own bosses, like for your own dungeon. And he has, they had like super powerful, super powerful high level 100 um, boss, boss NPCs and um, servants. And he's lit and he's now able to talk to them, interact with them like humans. And they um, see him as like the, their lord. That's why it's called Overlord because they see him as his lord. And at the same time, he's also wondering who could have done this or why is this happening? And if I'm, if I'm, am I the only one that this has happened to? So it, it goes on him being like um, investigating the world. He ends up helping people, like picking up facades of a hero, of a hero. And but he's like super since he's maxed out level, he's like super overly powerful, like. Um, God, pretty much, almost God mode in that game, in that world now. So what was that called? Overlord? Overlord. Yeah, Overlord.
a and um one of the characters is a well not really a lolita but a uh, short stature blonde headed vampire girl i think i found it if it's a big skeleton guy with a with a dark hood around him that's it yeah And when it comes to anime, you know, you can ask me if you guys want me to refer you to a um, anime, and I can give you a good review of it. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> you are returned to. All right, this became a trade thing. Just I got informed old. that your efforts to negotiate now we're just all standing in line. Ramu made trial of you? I fear there is truth to his claim. It is the darkness within us that attracts the darkness without. That sounded like a chocobo in the background, Kai. <laughs> What's Feels going on there? Do you have chocobos? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of fat chocobos, horses, and behemoth mounts. Like every every well, person in Idleshark is on their the mounts. Should have served to Literally. Steal our union. Like the whole place is literally almost covered in mounds. Strain under the weight of gross. I'm trying to break down the server. <laughs> Have you ever heard that um Odin the As the, the Odin fate the uh, destroyed an entire death. server? So too does our like self cut down an entire death. server. Of I would believe it. Yet now is oh yeah. The time to forget our shared responsibility. I've actually been Odin maybe this five six times. Realm is to survive beyond its infancy. It must needs be nurtured by all. Eorzea must be as one. Yet I fear that dream is still far off. By the way, did you guys ever do the um did you guys ever do the trial for Odin? The the Q the Q in trial? Uh, no. no. On behalf of the you guys have it. Dominant. It's um I saw it on your when you guys were uh, in your I list. You it's called um and your oh, I, I know what you're talking about. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Is, um, Odin. Oh. Yeah. I never had time to do it because, I don't know. I'm forgetting. Just like the fate, the, the battle is Lord just um, it's almost like the fate, sort the of. of this Ill wind grows no it's a DPS check. Voices of the forest. Kill him before he casts some sits speak again. and I shall listen. What unseen evil begets this unease in my heart? Her necklace looks like a baby zebra face that's upside down. <laughs> you know, I never <laughs> notice. That's funny. There we go, Lich. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Elder Lich. That's what he is. From o Overlord. Hold on, where is she? I gotta get closer. Oh my god, she left. The one time I want to see her and she's gone. What a surprise. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Go get me some more. Alright. Cool, cool. Ten more minutes before the stream ends. Yeah. I feel like now seems like a good break point though. We just finished Rama. This is probably going to be another like intro into the next thing that you do. Go run across the world and do a handful of tasks to do it. Yeah. Then finally yeah. it's what? Shiva? Shiva? Shiva. Oh, it's going to be a long... It's going to be a lot of build up to what they're doing and then Shiva. But then Shiva, the storyline is more in around Ishgard area where the camp dragon head is so there's a lot of quests there that leads up to shiva but it's kind of important because i think she was an important character in the game leading up to heaven's ward um who who was an important character shiva. i think shiva who shiva shiva oh yeah 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 she's, yeah, she's um very big, um, important character in um, Heaven's Ward. <clears throat> wow. 
Are we on Jay? <laughs> Someone literally called everyone out saying, Y'all are being cra uh, crazy with all the mounts coming, like all the behemoth mounts being out in the chocobos. The fat chocobos. Well, we didn't do as many hard modes as I wanted to tonight. I wanted to do like at least two dungeons and then the Rama thing. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I, I was gonna wait for you to do a hardline, but you went off, you know, internet. Well, if I went to if, shits. You guys, if you guys want, um, we could probably queue in faster if I tank. But um, I'm not very um, how you say? Uh, I don't since I don't tank a lot of the trials that much, so I'm not really com uh, confident. That's a main tank, so I'm, but I can probably go in as an OT tank. Dude, just, uh, get... they're just learning experiences, man. <laughs> it's just random yeah, people man. you don't know. Wait, wait, wait. So, so Snow, so you're agreeing that by doing these, you're training and learning? Yeah. Interesting. Well, it's not like I don't know how to tank the fights. I just don't do them. Like no, it's 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 because we were, we're t before the conversation was like, oh, you just join any dungeon and just steamroll it. And and Kai, what you're saying that it's, it's a learning experience and be training yourself to become a better person and learning mechanics. And it's like, hmm, so just that's what Snow said right now. It's a training thing. <laughs> I don't know. It was just funny. I just didn't want you to tell me all the mechanics of the fight, like... Well, I mean, they're not really that difficult hard mode mechanics, really. I mean, yeah, it'd be pointless to really tell anyone. I mean, unless, you know, unless they are okay with knowing... How about... I'll go ahead and tell you now. The only mechanics I ever want you to tell me about are the ones that will insta-kill me. Ah, okay. I don't have to worry about that on the on the hard modes. It's basically just the extreme modes that will really screw you over. But you know, we'll get to that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. In the intervening time. But yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, swap to uh, swap to a tank. Oh, uh, I'm I don't know if I can do anything yet. At two o'clock, I take a break. Oh yeah, true. Two o'clock, I'm done. Playing for the bed. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's almost time. Yeah, you're right. I just need to know yeah, lone wolf. or what to kill. Kill what? I think he's talking about like oh. mechanics, so it's like yeah. he just wants to know what is he supposed to be killing right now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If, if, I, if I'm a healer, hey, dispel this. That's it. You know? I totally agree. And welcome to the chat, I am wolf. Or I am three wolf. I yeah. Bear wolf. yeah, is it Lone Wolf or Ion Wolf? Ioni Wolf? No. That's pretty it's sure it's Lone, lone Wolf. Alright, <laughs> Lone Wolf. I, I, I like Ion Wolf, but Ionic is Ion. <laughs> I, I must know the mechanics on specific roles. Yeah. See, yeah, the sucks with being a healer is that uh, I don't care about mechanics, it's more about doing the spell. And that's it? Okay, cool. But if I'm a DPS, completely different mechanics. Like, oh, you gotta do. Kill ads and do this and jump through hoops and make sure you die and then get rest again. Mm -hmm. See, yes, yeah, so uh, with the when it comes to being a healer, the, your main objective when it comes to the fight to um trials and trials, raids, and extreme fights is um being able to prep ahead of time the um those AOE full heals or AOE healing spells at the right time. So you get, so you get. You get I know. Right after the attack, after the attack is done, you get healed right at that right time, so no one's like in critical in critical condition. See, my whole thing is that uh, when you tell me every mechanic about a dungeon or about like every little thing that goes on, you actually ruin it for me because I like to see it for the first time and try to figure it out. Oh, I am sorry. Yeah, um, and it's not a huge deal because everyone's been doing that in MMOs for the past 10 plus years. <laughs> so, like, you know, you're not the first one. My brother was really big on that, too. And he's gassed to me, and he'll show up every now and then. But he'll tell you every little detail about a thing to make sure that you know it, you know? Uh, I don't I don't look it up all the time. I apologize. I forgot that I was trying to keep the majority of the fights uh, to myself till you, you know, 
Yeah, experience them yourself and then... Yeah, I know. And when you tell us the mechanics, it increases our success chance. But actually, a lot can be learned from failure. Well, I guess I'll change my regimen on that then. So, because I don't want to spoil the game that for you guys either. Like, I want you guys to enjoy the game to the fullest. Yeah, we're real, real big on that. So, like, we come from raiding. In, in raiding, mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely videos that are out there in ways to do everything, but when you're, when you really get into raiding, you realize that most of those videos are generally useless because when you're in the fight, it's different than when you're watching someone else do the fight. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I learned, like, um, I learned the hard way in a lot. Actually, um, I believe I did the same thing, like, um, I played the raid first and then watched it. To see why I did what was killing me, or actually half the time I'm actually just pretty good at um, like I go into a fight and I already understand a good bit of the basics just by watching everyone, just by following everyone. But I wonder, what would happen to one of these obstinate spirits? Should there be no suitable host? Is that a good emoji? <laughs> Neck of the gills rain. <laughs> if mortal dozens fail to return to the ethereal realm. It seems doubtful that the soul of an immortal would venture there. Hey, Lone Wolf, what server are you in? Or data center? Oh, Hunty, you shouldn't be nervous when you go into dungeons. That's what Duty Finder is for. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, it exists in neither this realm nor the next. A it's a good thing that um, it does, the, when you do, the Duty Finder doesn't always. Put every. Um, I mean, I think it would be more beneficial, like the people that are new, like start out uh, play with new people with the like when they queue in the first time, it's with the with the people that are new too, so they all like learn at the same time. But I think I guess it also works like you know you, you um queue in, you're new, but you got two veterans right next to you to help to like help out. I guess that works out too. Have brought us unto an answer. Sahagan ascended to an immortal state, but he did not possess a crystal of darkness through which to flee this realm. Thus was he consumed by Leviathan. If we could entrap the spirits of defeated Athens in like manner, and thereby deny them resurrection... Therein lieth the path to victory. Thou art most perceptive, my lady. Only when we have trapped the bodiless soul within an ethereal prison... Oh, Hunty. So Hunty says, but man, there are a lot of se two serious people, though. Uh, and sometimes he has to hide his chat window altogether. I just wouldn't worry about what other people say. You know, you go in there, and you do the best you can. And if you can't figure it out... And if they're not willing to lend you a hand, then you really shouldn't be there. Party. Leave. <laughs> you don't have yeah. to be there. We have but to put them together. There are better people to play with. My best yeah. friends that I've met in MMOs around the world have always been the people that were like, oh, you just like do this. I was like, oh, okay. And then I do that and then, you know, it works, right? But they didn't tell me anything until I asked. And then they wanted to go on another dungeon. And they're like, hey, for this one thing, it'll kill you. So don't do that one thing. I'm like, oh, sweet. I have the utmost faith in you, Archon. I mean, we definitely have some two serious people like Dave. And, like, Snow. <laughs> I'm not that serious. Uh -huh. I'm just really good at min-maxing. <laughs> Did you know I scored 96% on one of our fights? <laughs> In the world, man. In the world. I shall, Archon. Thank you. Solera. Data Center That's Aether. Aether, yep. Oh man. I think we have a few people around Aether though. We do. That's where I started at, Zolero. I was gonna say, if you were on 
Primal, you should probably join our server. We have a free company we invite streamers to go to and have fun. Party up. Drink beers. Hmm. It'll be, it feels weird that I've been jumping from, that I jumped from one F company to another, and then I'm going to be jumping to another maybe if I move, when I move back to Leviathan. This feels like I'm not being faithful. Nope. Maybe you probably join us, and then you're gonna leave, and I'm like, yep, you're not faithful at all. Right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh -huh. How much does loyalty cost nowadays? Ugh. Right. <laughs> and, and Bone Wolf can make an Ion Wolf on Leviathan. Look at that. It'd be awesome. I'll be honest, I've always been more of the Lone Wolf type of character, play or player. I mean, I do good with I do good in team with teams and all that, but I've always been like that. Um, that six, like that, like um, in Power Rangers, that that six member you don't, uh, that doesn't stick with the main group all the time. Kind of have been like that. What some don't know won't hurt them, huh? Uh huh. So the primal that these guys um, worship is Zodiac, and the only person, the only appearance in Zodiac I've ever seen is in Final Fantasy 12. He's a summon that you can, he's a summon that you can fight in 12 and you get, and you get, he's like the strongest out of all the other summons. I'm very curious to see what he looks like in this game. Why these not like the others? Man, I don't know if I want to make this joke or not with this scene. So what do you main Lone Wolf character? And if you are going to play Stormblood, are you going to be playing a Red Mage or Samurai? Or are you going to main your main? Get to end game, I guess. However, that works. <laughs> so I'll never get there in probably in two months, maybe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so much content. Because I was telling Kai, it's like, man, it feels I'm so excited for Stormblood because you know what? I haven't played Heaven's Ward yet. And I feel like I go through all those dungeons, all those trials, all those raids, and I have Stormblood to go through all those dungeons, all those trials, and all those raids. So, like, it's a big present. It's like Christmas. <laughs> I'm getting two expansions for one game. Look at that. <laughs> I still haven't gone through it. But you know what's going to make it all better? What? Is that me and you are going to do all that shit together instead of, like, fucking, right. hey, I'm at max level. Come catch up. Right? Oh That's gosh, Deck, don't say anything. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I love you, it's okay. <laughs> it's like, what about me, baby? Uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to oh, be No, able you're to in trouble again. Even, um, Damn it, this <laughs> always happens at the end of the goddamn My night. friend's gonna buy the game in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna play with her. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. And she's transferring to server. She's going somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, she's probably like, yeah, and I'm gonna go go join the Aether data center. Right, I'm going to Aether. I'm going to U E U server. That's what she means. I'm a bard. I love you, honey. I'm on the same boat. I got Heaven Sword when it came out, and then I lost my damn token ring. Ooh, that sucks. And I haven't played for almost a year. The Red Maid looks pretty sweet. That sucks for losing the token ring. The token ring isn't that the XP ring? Can't you just get I, another one if you do the novice training stuff? The novice, yeah. I think, I think you should. Yeah. Give me another one. Yeah, you can. Um, Let's redo it again. Did. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, what? I just got the um. I just got the um. What do you call the announcement about um. The maintenance about to happen soon. I didn't get anything. I'm still on a story quest. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the middle of a cutscene. It shows it shows up in the um what you call it um chat bar the chat the chat bar. Mm. Yeah, it says um 
June 15, to, uh, 2017, 2 a.m. to June 16, 2 a.m., whatever, maintenance, uh, maintenance will be performed on Final Fantasy. Please log out before the maintenance begins. See the news section for more details. Watch tomorrow morning to be all about Mr. Happy saying shit and everybody saying shit, and then... <sighs> yeah, you know how it's going to be. Gonna be. You know the drills. Right. Oh, it's this kid again. Yeah, you're doing. Yeah. I do love the new the new music. Stormblood, like the battle music and the and the um the world music, I love. It sounds awesome. <laughs> Hunty, yeah, it's probably just a reminder so that when they do cut the servers off, they don't have to go through bullshit people attacking their forums and shit. I know. Why is everything down? I weren't you paying any attention? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the people who were arguing about the whole like job class stats right now, like oh, you know, and big cat saying. Uh, work in progress. Like if this is not the final build of like for the classes. Like there's still numbers to be tweaked. And everybody's like just complaining about, you know, how's that gonna be? No. And then forums get flooded. And Yoshi P is like, ah, Americans. <laughs> I have to agree with that. It's, like they have to have like. Mr. Happy make a video to people to say, chill the fuck out, nothing's happening, you know, this ain't the final product, just wait till he confirms what's final. Exactly. Like, even I think the good night, Lone Wolf. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah, good night, Lone Wolf. Have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Actually, uh, I just... I actually need to subscribe to your um, channel too, bad. Oh, thanks. I just did. Oh, you should give a link to mine because we dual stream on it now. Is that what's going to go on forever? Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll link it into my thing, game. Make yeah. sure you. And uh, also like. Make sure you check out uh, Snow Gaming. He's also a partner of mine who plays a game with me. We play together every night. So make sure you hit subscribe, subscribe, and like him also. Um, and yeah. We should label our episodes the same, so that we're on, yeah. like, I think tonight was 18. Even on, even, even on the description, too. Like, in the description, just have, like, also join. Well, I'm we'll going to try adding, yeah, we'll, we'll talk, talk tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow, right before stream, so try to be on or in around 10, instead of 10.30. Right. God, I need to learn how to do oh, it. Oh, shit, we're not streaming tomorrow, because everything's down. Right. We're streaming... <sighs> The next day at early in the morning? Can I even do that? Does my schedule permit that? Don't look at me. Talk to your wife that know. apparently you don't want to level together with. Hey, why do you keep saying it like that? <laughs> I'm digging that hole, man. I'm digging that hole. <laughs> why do you think I'm playing Dragoons and going back? You know, so me and her talked about this, and I said that one of the biggest problems is that I did the main story quest with you. And so mm -hmm. it's like basically that's all we did, and we leveled this far together. Like it was mm -hmm. just main story quest. So it's not like we can just jump together and then quest together because all she's doing is the main story quest now, and I can't do any of that because I already did it. Right. Well, except for the dungeons, of course, that you know to progress in the story. Yeah. Right. And so it's like I'm just kind of waiting. Well, for dungeons. you still have uh, POTs. House of the Dead. Plus, yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. Yeah. Plus, what you could do also is um, take the opportunity with um, use while well, to use her um, as a new person to um, get the bonus experience points for the first time dungeons with with a uh, different class. Yes, that too. Dude, I'm telling you, whenever I join a main story quest queue, there's always a new person in it. I literally get that bonus every single time I do it. Well, that's because you're new, you're the new person. <laughs> but I've already done it. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, if you mean like you already did it, then yeah, but uh, that is very, that is very lucky. I just gotta check out my stream and look at this character, the summoner. Click. By oh, the way, what's, 
By the go. way, how far how, how far are you guys geared up so far? Like, um, how much Ironworks uh, gear have you been able to get? Um, 110. You're at 110? I think mm -hmm. I'm at 113. I don't know. Cool. How many tones? Uh, have nope, you, have I'm you at collected? 114. Like, uh, how many tones do you guys got right now? Uh, currency, tones, 1,191. 1, oh, dude, oh, guys, you guys got plenty to get at least, like, a full set of the, um, body armor or a full set of the, um, accessories, man. I think I got one of the, the sets from first sets, but not the other ones. But why would I do that? We're just gonna enter right. Stormblood and then main story quest and level up to fucking wherever, right? And it's just gonna give you right. better gear. Well, I mean, like, that's what I mean, like, you can, um, but go ahead and buy like the uh, monk or the red or the caster um, armors right now, and just have them ready. And um, what else? Uh, plus, um, you can you can only get two thousand. Like it caps up at two thousand, so it's best to keep them. You know, keep using them. That way, you don't accidentally like cap cap out and don't get a certain amount of um certain amount of um tomes like if you did a bonus and you got like a big bonus and then you're like missing 200 because you capped out or and bear with me for a moment i could not spend them until i cap out right and then <laughs> buy glamour stuff with it like do i want to wear this armor yay nay and i say it like that because you know that we're just going to level up these tunes and we're probably not going to need the gear to do anything you know? Yeah. So really, it's just sitting there waiting for me to need the item level upgrades. And as long as I don't need an item level upgrade, I don't really need the gear. Do you mean the level, you mean the past level 50 gears? I mean, wherever I'm at right now. Ah. So like right now, I don't have any kind of eye level requirements. Well, um, let's see. Yeah, because um, when you enter Stormblood, you can still be at, um, not Stormblood, but um, Heaven's War, you can still be item level 110 and still do one of the dungeons without any problems. Like, since you don't have a level cap, or you're, like, past level 50, so you, that's not an issue. You can le actually level up you level up much quicker that way. So, and the item level is just really to have, like, an advantage on, like, when you do, I will say this. It gets capped. Level 50, like, it caps your um, eye level on all the things I've been doing to 110. Yeah, yeah so, um, how you say, um, but I will say this, like, when you do enter the Heaven's Ward area, the, um, even the monsters in the field, will, like, they're all level 50 and above, they will be a little bit tougher, they're a little bit tougher when, uh, when under gear. That, that's a proven fact, like, even, or, heck, even when I was maxed out, those monsters were a pain in the butt. Just to get, just to try to get by to get to the next quest, uh, quest or quest or side quest or whatever. They, uh, one of the, uh, if you got like two or three on you, they are they were already kicking my butt, and I was e maxed out equal level. Did you have a friend right. with you the whole time? No, um, like oh, I said. Oh man, um, I I do a lot of the stuff. I do a lot of like like I said. I'm. A, Majority of time, I'm basically solo player. Well, Bad's like my other DPS pet. Only yeah. that pet does <laughs> way more damage than mine. Well, it's because um when when uh the, it, the thing is that when um <laughs> it's like when I was on my old F company back in Zalera, the the one that um is now in Leviathan, um our work schedules were a little bit different. So we couldn't really do a lot of um, story quests together. We had to, we mainly had to do all of it by ourselves. Like uh, it was um like it, it was like only specific times that we actually teamed up in a party to do either a dungeon or a tri or a trial. So it wasn't really like how I'm doing it with you guys. That I've done it more often now than I did than I did before. <clears throat> all right. Well, I guess we're heading out. It's 2.15. And you got so, to work tomorrow, I bet. I do got to work tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so let's do a sign-off. Alright. That's right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us and playing with us tonight, chatting with us and asking us questions and telling us what's going on and 
yeah, I hope we get to do it again. We won't be able to do it tomorrow, but maybe the next night. We'll see. Yes, we will see. Stormblood! Yeah, Stormblood. I'm thinking that some cool stuff's going to happen with that. Um, three samurais. <laughs> yeah, right. There will be three samurais or three red mages there. Uh, so I'm Snowy, in case you guys were watching Bad Stream and didn't know, but I'm Snow Gaming, and I've been streaming it as well. Uh, uh, your turn, Bad? I don't have yeah. any <laughs> Uh Yeah, I'm excited to play Stormblood, so... Uh... I know I will not play Stormblood, but I will be playing the, the new jobs. So I'm excited about that. So it'll be interesting. Be playing the uh, the Samurai Bros, apparently. Yeah, so, yeah I'm so, thinking that I'm going to go Samurai with you. We're going to do Samurai Bros throughout that. Yeah, yeah. So um, some more to that. Uh, thanks for joining the stream and also watching Snow's gaming stream. So soon we will have more descriptions and all that kind of stuff so we can have that looped up and maybe work on some uh, dual, dual casting or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know yet. That. I don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But anywho, uh, good night, and we'll probably see you tomorrow or on Friday morning. Or not Friday night, probably. Peace out. Ah, I don't know. So, yep. peace out, guys. Good night or good morning. Bye. Good morning. Yep. Oh, good night, Auntie. Thank you. Good night. All right. Good night, guys. Take it easy. <laughs>